Believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable. I won't let allow you to waste your valuable time here. Come let's go and see today's interesting topic 60. Do's and don'ts of stock market investing for beginners. Do's and don'ts of stock market. Making money from stocks is simple if you strictly follow the do's and don'ts of stock market investing. For example, the first and foremost rule to invest intelligently in stocks is to not speculate, but invest only after proper research. However, most people speculate in stocks and bet that the share price will go high in the upcoming days without any significant analysis. If you've ever been curious about investing and didn't know where to start, you've likely pondered a variety of questions from what types of stocks to buy to how much money to invest to who to ask to guide you along the way. In this video, we are going to discuss the do's and don'ts of stock market investing for beginners. Let's get started. 60. Do's and Don'ts of Stock Market Investing for Beginners Here are a few of the do's of stock market investing that every investor should follow. 1. Buy and Sell Websites Buying and selling sites is the online equivalent to property. The concept is much the same. Buying undervalued websites, improving them marginally and selling them on for a profit. Not only can you make money on the sale itself, but you can also make a monthly profit on top of that, making it one of the most lucrative online business options, if you get it right. You can find websites to purchase either directly from buyers or website brokers and marketplaces, such as fiinternational.com, wesseliersite.com, flippa.com and websitebroker.com, to name a few. Once you've bought your website, you can get to work building traffic and monetizing your purchases to increase the monthly profit on them. Once you've maximized traffic, you can sell it, either yourself directly or through one of the brokers mentioned. There's a lot of money to be made by in selling websites. Learn to spot the pitfalls of a website to filter out the money drains, look for proof of revenue and traffic. If you're unsure, many brokers offer a service to help you vet your potential purchases. On the other hand, you can create websites with the intention of selling them. This is a more time-consuming option, but can be very profitable. Start by researching website flipping. Look at recent sales of similar sites to see what they went for and what made them successful. 2. Research is the key. Many investors complain, I invested in this stock based on tips, but know anything about the company's business. The market wobbles, the share prices go down a bit and investors tremble. This is due to a lack of proper planning and improper research about the fundamentals of the companies they had invested in. Check the company's business details, financial statements, ratios, management, and more before deciding whether its shares are worth your money and time. 3. Set up an e-commerce store. An e-commerce store allows consumers to buy goods and services online via their phone, tablet, or computer through digital transactions. The accessibility of e-commerce stores means the achievable global market reach has grown rapidly. Driving traffic to your site is your best chance at making big money. Once the shop's up and running, your focus needs to be on advertising and marketing. If you want a quick start, Big Commerce and Shopify are popular hosting platforms for e-commerce businesses and typically easy ways to get started. A top tip is to offer fewer products, but to aim for items with a significant markup. The success of an e-commerce store relies heavily on branding. Focus on creating a strong brand with a niche target market. 4. Educate yourself. This is probably the most relevant dues of stock market investing. If you really want to become a successful stock investor, start learning the market. It doesn't mean that you should enroll in a college program, degree. Self-education is the best way to learn. There are tons of free information available on the internet which you access to learn about the market. Moreover, if you want to get a head start, you can also enroll in a few good online stock market investing courses. Let the learning begin. 5. Start an online SaaS business. SaaS stands for Software as a Service. It's a business model where customers purchase software solutions online on a subscription basis. The software is centrally hosted, meaning it is all stored and accessed on the cloud. An online SaaS business is a fantastic option for those with knowledge of coding and building software. Similarly to membership sites, it's a good idea to offer something for free. Usually, this is a free trial with an expiry date or a limited version of the end product and serves as a taste or advertisement for your full, paid product. To make money from selling software, your service must run smoothly. In the beginning, you'll dedicate a lot of your time to fixing bugs and troubleshooting. Once you've got a streamlined product, the business is relatively automated. The system will automatically push updates to purchasers. SaaS is a great business model as customers are usually loyal. Once they rely on your software to run their business, they're hooked in. A must-have for this business to succeed is a real in-depth knowledge of the industry. 6. Research before investing. 
One of the key reasons why people do not make money from stocks is that they do not put in the initial efforts before investing in the share. Every investor needs to research the company before investing. Here you need to learn the company's fundamentals, financial statements, ratios, management, and more. If you do not want to regret it later, research the company first before investing. 7. Offer a 3D printing service. Starting a 3D printing business is another example of a hobby turned profit maker. If you already own and have mastered a 3D printer, it's easy to turn this into a profitable business. Prospective clients contact you with a 3D model. You print the model and post it out to them and make a mean profit. If you already own the 3D printer, then this model isn't too expensive. You do need to factor in marketing. You'll need a good ad campaign to reach customers. Marketing can be done cheaply, however, on Facebook, LinkedIn and by word of mouth. Targeting relevant tech companies is also an excellent place to start. Next, you need to factor in the storage of the product and posting. Alternatively, if you want to do less of the business side of things, websites like TreatStock match customers with printers, meaning you can avoid some of the negotiations and focus on the printing. Make sure you've got insurance, you'll be responsible for how these parts turn out, and you'll also need to cover yourself if your machinery breaks down. 8. Invest consistently. Most people get excited and enter the stock market when the market is doing well and the indexes are touching new highs. However, if you only invest in a bull market and exit when the market is down on it, when stocks are selling at discount, you will never find fantastic opportunities to pick cheap stocks. Do not invest in the market just for a year. If you want to make good money from stocks, invest consistently and periodically increase your investment amount. 9. Create a digital product store. What better way to profit from our technology-dependent society than by starting a digital product store? This business runs entirely online and the physical resources required are next to none. The biggest investment at the start will be your time. Digital products are anything which you can download online. The lack of physical presence means minimal resources, no production costs, no storage costs. The most time-efficient and cost-efficient products you can sell are PDFs in various formats. Templates, for example, offer lots of possibilities. Templates for emails, CVs, cover letters, business cards, calendars. You can produce a template for almost anything and with very little information. A bit of creative flair here goes a long way. People will pay a lot of money for a professional look. The advantage of digital products is that they can be sold relatively cheaply and are free to produce. Other examples include ebooks as well as selling research and online papers. You can even sell audio files, music and videos on your store as well as fonts, logos, backgrounds. If you can download it, you can sell it. This business model is one of the most varied and cost-effective options for making money online. Marketing needs to be your main expense. To make money your customers need to find you. After that, your products will sell themselves. 10. Have patience. Most stocks take at least one, two years to give good returns to the investors. Moreover, the performances get better when you give more time. Have patience while investing in the share market. And do not sell your stocks too soon for short-term gratification. 11. Invest for the long term. It's true that many investors who have become wealthy from stocks are long-term investors. Long-term investing is more stress-free and gives investments time to make a greater impact. Investing for the long-term can help you avoid paying numerous fees to your broker for opening numerous trades. Also, thanks to compound interest, you can earn more over the life of your investments by investing less now than a larger amount later. 12. Create a killer app. Are you a tech wizard or coding expert? If you've got an extensive knowledge of coding, experience in app development and an innovative concept, you can make millions as an app developer. A quarter of iOS app developers earn over approx 3,000 pounds a day. An app developer's biggest challenge is coming up with an innovative idea. There are more than 2 million apps available on Apple's App Store. To make big money on an app, you need to attract serious download volume. It needs to be eye-catching, peak consumer interest and be an ingenious concept. But downloads don't always equate to money. You'll then need to retain your customers by producing consistent content or regularly adding new features. Next, you'll need to add paid features or subscription options to generate money on top of the download amount. Serious money in app development is reserved for viral apps. Market your app everywhere you can. Social media is a great place to start. Make sure your users will want to share your content with others. Funny or informative content is most popular. The more reposts and shares your content gets, the bigger your chances of going viral. 13. Diversify. Do not put all your eggs in one basket. The risk involved while investing in just one stock is way higher compared to a portfolio of 10 stocks. Even if one or two of your stocks starts performing poorly in the latter scenario, 
it may not affect the entire portfolio too much. Your stock portfolio should be sufficiently diversified. 14. Work as a freelancer online. Working as a freelancer is one of the most flexible jobs you can have, made even more accessible with the internet. Freelancers work on a contractual basis or per hour or project. Most work from home and for the hours and times they choose. If you've got the skills and the equipment, it's an almost immediate way to start making money. It's a simple concept. Capitalize on any specialist skill you may have and turn it into a commercial service. It can be anything from web design to business consultancy or translation. You can monetize almost any skill. Finding customers is also more accessible than ever with websites like Upwork, Experfy and People Per Hour, where freelancers can advertise their services and their prices. One downside is that work can be irregular and your income might fluctuate from month to month. Build as big a network as possible. Reach out to everyone you can. To boost your credibility, consider joining an association in your industry. 15. Invest for the long term. It's a common fact that all the veterans of the stock market who made an incredible fortune from stocks are long-term investors. But why does long-term investing helps to build wealth? Because of the power of compounding, the eighth wonder of the world. If you want to build massive wealth from the market, invest for the long term. 16. Buy and sell domain names. Buying and selling domain names can be a very lucrative online business. A domain name is a website's address, for example, entrepreneurhandbook.co.uk. Companies are willing to pay considerable amounts of money for the domain they want. The concept is simple. You buy domain names at a low price, wait for them to increase in value and then sell them on for a higher price. You can purchase domain names from domain registrars, such as Godaddy and Namecheap. When selling them on, you can either advertise on the domain itself that the web address is up for sale, or you can list your domains on specialist sites that potential buyers use to find web addresses, such as Cedo and Namejet. Buying and selling domain names can be a lucrative business. The more generic the title, the better. Go for geographic names, popular names and potential business names. You can buy domains for as little as a few pounds each, but if you've got a domain a business really wants, you can sell it on for hundreds or even thousands of pounds. 17. Create and sell stock photos. Creating stock photography consists of producing images that you can sell through a stock agency to individuals or businesses who purchase the rights to use the content for their website or marketing. This business is an excellent option for anyone with a passion for photography or a creative eye. Once the photos are online, you'll earn a tiny amount of money every time the images are purchased or downloaded. However, it's not without its risks. Talented photographers have been known to upload high-quality content and receive very few sales. A top tip is to keep an eye on social and business trends and respond to market demand. Brush up on your keywording to make sure you appear in as many searches as possible. 18. Hold the winners, cut the losers. Cut your losing stocks if they underperform for a long time and hold your winning stocks longer to allow them to offer even better returns. This is the golden mantra of investing that you should strictly follow. Moreover, keeping your winners and cutting losers will also help in building your dream portfolio. 19. Market research. For any business to be successful, an understanding of their target audience, competitors, and market is critical. Many companies lack the skills and resources to compile this essential market research and are happy to pay to outsource this service elsewhere. This is where you step in as a market research analyst. Your role will be to collect and analyze data on everything to do with your client's company. Specific projects may focus on a particular aspect of their niche market, such as customer demographics or the geographic location of interest to a client. To carry out research, you'll need to formulate survey texts and questions in multiple formats. You may have to integrate surveys into your client's website, database or mail marketing service provider. 20. Only invest what is surplus. The stock market gives an immense opportunity to invest in your favorite company and make money. However, there are always a few risks involved in the market, and no returns are guaranteed. Moreover, many times a bad may even last for years. Therefore, you should only invest the surplus money which does not affect your lifestyle even if you can't get it out. 21. Give webinars. If you're an expert in a particular field, consider starting a webinar business. These are live-streamed virtual seminars, where you'll deliver educational or instructive content, allowing your consumers to interact with you from wherever they are. Webinars can be audio or visual communication-based. You can attract a considerable client base, as your attendees can be based anywhere in the world with just an internet connection. Webinars are particularly popular in the fintech, technology, and financial service sectors. To get going, you'll need to decide on a specialist area and select appropriate webinar software. 
A good marketing strategy is essential to attract enough participants to your webinar. You can further monetize your business by using your webinars to advertise affiliate products relevant to your field, video software, for example. 22. Get started early. I cannot emphasize enough the importance of getting started soon with your finances. Time is in your favor when you start investing early. Moreover, here you get enough time to recover even if you make some losses during the early time of your investment journey. 23. Become a copywriter. Copywriters create different types of marketing materials by writing sales copy to attract readers' attention and sell brands, products, or services. A copywriter's portfolio typically includes sales brochures, web content, sales scripts, sales emails, demonstration scripts, product data sheets, and white papers. Copywriters are always in demand, and big brands will pay significant amounts of money for effective advertising campaigns. Persuasive, engaging and grammatically sound copy can earn you massive amounts of money. You can start your business at home with very few resources and enjoy all the flexibility and benefits associated with a career as a freelancer. You can use platforms such as People Per Hour and Fiverr to offer your services as a freelance copywriter and to find clients. The more credible you are, the higher the rate you'll achieve. Next to relevant background and experience, it's important to have a sound portfolio to be able to show prospective clients. You can begin by offering your services for free or for a reduced rate to some reputable clients as a starting point. 24. Buy and sell on Bazaar. OpenBazaar.org is a free online marketplace with no platform fees or selling fees. It's decentralized, meaning that buyers and sellers can deal with each other directly. There are no restrictions, meaning you can quite literally sell anything you like on the platform. So what's unique about it? The market deals in cryptocurrency. Buying and selling on Open Bazaar works the same as buying and selling on any other market, and it's easy to make money. The primary method is to buy new products cheaply and then sell them on for a higher price. There's minimal risk with online buying and selling. You only buy what you can afford, and the startup costs are low. The only difference with Bazaar selling is that you'll need at least a basic understanding of cryptocurrency. To find the most profitable items you can use an app like Price Check by Amazon. You can enter the barcode and see for what price similar items are selling. The app will let you know the markup of the product, aim for anything over 50%. Price checker apps will give you an idea of how well you'll do out of each item. 25. Offer HR consultancy online. HR consultants exist to help business clients get the best out of their employees. Responsibilities include the implementation of talent management programs, communicating the legal aspects of employment, structuring promotion and giving advice on how to create a diverse and inclusive working environment. If you've got a background in HR, there's no reason why you can't work for yourself and take your business digital. Experience in the industry often comes with a useful network, which forms a sound basis for seeking clients. Make sure you have a solid online presence and develop a marketing plan to advertise your services. Determine the focus of your service. Are you offering general HR consultancy? Or do you specialize in a particular industry? Define your target market to advertise effectively. 26. Average out. It's challenging to time the market, and almost impossible to buy the stock at the exact bottom and sell them at the highest point. If you've done it, you might be lucky. A better approach here is to buy, sell in steps. 27. Work online as a telemarketer. Telemarketing is a type of method of direct marketing where salespeople contact potential customers by phone. It's a way of building up a prospective client base for company, generating leads and advertising. The startup costs are minimal. All you need to get going is a phone, a headset, computer and internet connection. Firstly, decide whether your service will offer B2C or B2B marketing, business to consumer or business to business. The first involves selling products or services to businesses, and the second consists of calling individual customers to sell a product. Then, settle on an industry and make sure you understand it. You'll be a lot more successful if you know what you're talking about and can handle any relevant question. Now all is left is to find clients. Market your services via a website, social media, and the phone. Convincing customers by phone sells your service simultaneously. Once you've found your clients, you'll have to compile appropriate call lists. Be aware of GDPR. You mustn't call people who have opted out of receiving sales calls. You can also think about taking the business automatic. You can use interactive voice response as a way to increase call volume hugely, and it is relatively inexpensive. 28. Become a technical writer. Technical writing is a skill. It's transposing highly technical, informational content into digestible information. Technical writers are more in demand than ever before. Companies will outsource the writing of their business plan 
product specification or financial proposals to technical writers. First off, you'll need outstanding writing skills, complete with flawless grammar. If you're specializing, you'll need experience in your relevant field, whether this is a background in finance for financial writing or extensive knowledge in engineering. Technical writing can, however, extend to projects as simple as writing an instruction manual for a microwave. There are countless project types you can encounter as a technical writer. Be sure to define your target audience and your service. Once you've decided what type of technical writing to do, make sure you familiarize yourself with industry jargon so you can offer an even better service and charge more for it. In essence, technical writing can be far more lucrative than other types of writing, so it is well worth exploring. 29. Diversify your portfolio. New investors might be surprised to know that it's better to own more investments than less. A diversified portfolio should not only be varied in its number of investments but also in types of investment. In the event that one or two of your stocks begin performing poorly, it may not affect your entire portfolio greatly. This is just one reason why your stock portfolio should be sufficiently diversified. Don'ts of Stock Market Investing 30. Don't overtrade. When you are trading frequently, you are repeatedly paying for the brokerage and other charges. Don't buy, sell the stocks too often. Make confident decisions and make transactions only when necessary. 31. Buy and sell on eBay. Selling on eBay has become a very profitable business model. Anyone can do it, starting today. The concept is simple, buy products cheaply and sell them on with a profitable markup. The trick lies in finding profitable products. Some of the most lucrative ideas include antique selling, book selling, and selling small accessories, such as mobile phone or hair accessories. Selling on eBay is fast, cheap and reaches millions and millions of potential customers. A top tip is always to leave your buyers positive feedback. Positive reviews encourage them to leave you good feedback in return, which will boost your credibility and your sales. Another tip, take time in photographing your product. The more photos, the better, and the better chance of a quicker, higher sale. 32. Don't invest blindly on free tips, recommendations. The moment you open your trading account, you'll start getting free messages on your phone with B-U-Y, S-E-L-L calls. But remember, there is no free lunch in this world. Why would anyone send a stranger free tips for multi-bagger stocks? Never invest blindly in free tips or recommendations that you receive, no matter how appealing they may sound. 33. Social Shopping Marketplace On this type of platform, consumers are not exposed to individual products but rather to offers. Such offers consist of multiple items sold by different independent sellers. The offers are comparable to a shop window where items are arranged in a creative, visually attractive way to maximize their appeal to customers. It's no surprise that this innovative way of selling is popular with sellers of fashion and beauty products. Social shopping marketplaces provide tools to connect buyers with sellers, encourage feedback and at the same time, function as an e-commerce facilitator for sellers and a shopping search engine for buyers. Popular sites in this category include Store Envy, Polivore or Shopcade. 34. Don't have unrealistic expectations. Yes, many lucky guys in the market have made 400,500% return on their single investment. However, the truth is that these kinds of news get quickly circulated. Have realistic expectations while investing in stocks. A return between 12-18% in a year is considered good in the market. Moreover, when you compound this return over multiple years, you will get way higher returns compared to 3.5% interest on your savings account. Further, do not assume that you can get the same profits as others, who might be investing in stocks for many past years and may have acquired an amazing skill set. You can also get similar returns, but only after enough knowledge and practice. 35. Don't follow the herd. Your colleague purchased a stock and made 67% returns from it within a year. Now, he's boasting about it, and many of your office mates are buying that stock. What would you do next? Should you buy the stock? Wrong. 36. Remote Project Management Consultant A project management consultant's role is to advise, plan and lead a team through a project for a client. Responsibilities include organizing and holding appropriate meetings, gathering and updating industry knowledge and delivering projects. Common software that consultants use to improve their trade includes MS Project, SharePoint and Project Server. As project management is mostly about planning, Many consultants use software such as Odoo, Open Project, and Orange Scrum to keep organized. To make money as a remote project management consultant, you'll need some relevant industry experience as well as some relevant contacts. Understanding your client is crucial to success as a remote project management consultant. Make sure you understand their vision for the project and create open channels for communication. No investor can get significant success from the market by following the herd. 
Do your own research rather than following the crowd. 37. Don't make emotional decisions. The human mind is very complex, and there are many factors both internal and external that can affect the choices we make. While investing in the stock market, do not take emotional decisions. One of the main advantages of having a lead generation business is that once set up, it's entirely automated. It's all about collecting data of people interested in certain products to pass on to your business clients. The best way to collect data is to place an ad for a product online that redirects the consumer to your landing site. Here, the customer fills out their details in the hope of getting more information on what they're looking for. Once they've given their contact information, you've generated a lead, which gets sent automatically to your lead buyer through your lead software. Facebook is a brilliant way to generate leads as it can reach huge volumes of people and knows how to tailor ads to likely consumers. Finding clients is easy, too. You can do this via email campaigns or online advertising. Make sure you pick an industry that's in high demand. 39. Don't take investing as gambling. Let me repeat this in simple words investing is not gambling. Do not buy any random stock and expect it to give you two times return in a month. Since your money is at stake, investing has been known to affect your emotional well-being. That's why it's important to keep a level head when investing, as emotions can cloud your judgment. It's best to only invest when you are sure it is the right thing to do and have an exit strategy in mind. 40. Research is the key. Many investors complain, I invested in this stock based on tips, but know anything about the company's business. The market wobbles, the share prices go down a bit and investors tremble. This is due to a lack of proper planning and improper research about the fundamentals of the companies they had invested in. Check the company's business details, financial statements, ratios, management, and more before deciding whether its shares are worth your money and time. 41. Build a Chrome extension. Tech-savvy individuals can monetize their skills by producing a Chrome extension. Chrome extensions customize a user's browser and serve as add-ons allowing users to tailor their browsers to perform specific functions. They're there to enhance user experience by extending Chrome's capabilities. One example that many people are familiar with is an ad blocker. You download it, and it sits on your taskbar in Google Chrome, preventing ads from popping up all over the place. Once you've made an extension, you can sell it on the Google Chrome store. Chrome is such a reputable interface that they get significant site traffic, meaning high exposure. The key to making money from a Chrome extension is coming up with an innovative idea. It needs to be general enough to appeal to the majority of users, offering a universal function. 42. Holding on to stocks. Many people dream of earning huge profits from the stock market without realizing how trading and investments necessitate discipline and being heedful of volatility. Not realizing possible outcomes or stock market movement in the future, many investors attempt averaging down the investments made. This causes them to hold to their stocks for an extended period. The inability to book profits whenever possible has caused many investors lose capital and book unwanted losses. There is a need to have a financial goal in mind so that you may make proper calculations to hedge yourself from maximum losses. 43. Fashion Designer The fashion industry brings in huge revenue every year, and more and more designers are selling online. As a fashion designer, you can sell your designers for products such as shoes, clothing and accessories. Starting by selling t-shirts is a smart option to minimize overheads and startup costs. Selecting a few simple designs keeps the concept simple and profitable. Once you've acquired some site traffic or a loyal customer base, you can consider expanding to other products and accessories. 44. Start investing early. The best time to invest in the share market is when an investor is young and can afford to take risks. Young investors can take more risks and recover from wrong decisions without affecting their long-term financial goals. When you start investing in stocks early, you can get better compounding benefits from reinvesting dividends. 45. Sell logo and design work. Graphic design freelancers can make a fortune selling logo and design work online. You can start with as little as a website and some design software, and you're good to go. To be successful, you'll need a portfolio of work, or at least some samples on your site where potential customers can see examples of your work. Target new entrepreneurs and startups by advertising on relevant websites. If you don't want to procure customers yourself, you can sell your design work on a logo marketplace, which brings together companies and designers, for example Design Hill or ArtWeb. One can even start investing in small amounts. You can start investing in the stock market for as little as 500 rupees. 46. Know your risk profile. Knowing your risk profile before investing and creating your stock portfolio is important. It is easier to find the right mix of high-risk, high-return assets and low-risk, low-return assets when you understand your risk profile. 
A risk profile is measured according to your risk tolerance, risk capacity, and risk requirement. Risk tolerance is how much risk you are willing to take. Risk capacity is how much risk you can take based on your financial situation. Risk requirement is the amount of risk you need to take to reach your financial goals. If you already have built a portfolio, you should check if your investments match your risk profile. 47. Build custom software for freelance clients. If you're a keen software developer, you can make significant money by producing bespoke software solutions for freelance clients. Freelancers are often not able to use the same software as larger businesses offering a similar service, as they represent a much more scaled-down version. As many freelancers offer unique services, it is challenging to purchase ready-made software to help them operate. Building custom software solutions is, therefore, a service in high demand. Attracting clients is also hassle-free. Paid ads on freelancer websites are fantastic exposure to your specific target market. 48. Focus on the big picture. Have an investment goal and plan in mind before stepping into the market. Decide your stocks depending on whether you wish to accumulate a huge corpus within the next 10 years or want to create a retirement fund. Some stocks are evergreen, so you can buy them in small lots during dips to create a valued legacy. Besides, with regular dividends and sporadic returns on the shares, the motivation is high, thus, setting the much-needed pace for the growth of your investments. Setting a financial goal will encourage you to review your planning and decide on a sound and prolonged capital strategy accordingly. 49. Create and sell recipes. Foodies can market their kitchen creations online and make money. You can create and sell recipes through an online website or by producing an ebook and selling it on Amazon. There are a plethora of different diets and health crazes that come in and out of fashion. Current trends include vegan diets and low-sugar recipes. Producing recipes that correspond to current eating trends will increase your sales. People love to see beautiful images of food. Consider investing in a professional photography service to take pictures of your dishes and start a social media account. Attractive food will result in lots of shares and a big Instagram following, which can generate lots of sales. 50. Don't invest based on psychological biases. Psychological biases like loss aversion, overconfidence bias, anchoring bias, and herd behavior bias can get in the way of creating a suitable stock portfolio. All investors have to work through their own biases in investing. Sometimes investors may react too much to short-term losses or be too confident in stocks that are losing money. These are examples of psychological biases in financial investment. Behavioral biases can be dealt with by sticking to a sound investment strategy. 51. Online narration or voice over service. As a society, we are busier and more technology dependent than ever. That's why so many people are turning to audiobooks. You can consume books while driving, jogging, or even working in some cases. As well as narration for audiobooks, companies need voiceovers for all sorts of reasons, from marketing campaigns to online tutorials. Producing audio content is an effortless job you can do from home. All you need is a decent microphone and some professional recording and editing software. Finding clients is trickier. Figures estimate that voiceover artists spend up to a third of their time searching for customers. Increase your online presence as much as you can, in the way of a website, paid ads and email campaigns. A top tip is to produce a demo. Clients will want to know what to expect from your service. Another tip is to take an online voiceover course which will give you advice on breath control. 52. Don't gamble. People should keep their gambling instincts aside when making investment decisions. Instead, investment decisions should be made purely based on credible information. Instead of taking unnecessary risks, you should try to develop sound strategy. Activities like taking free tips, betting huge sums on short-term movements, or using your emergency funds for short-term trades are akin to gambling on the stock market. 53. Facebook Advertising Campaigns Facebook ads are a powerful way not only to reach millions of people but to target specific demographics or target audiences. If done right, Facebook ads can massively increase website traffic and result in increased sales and revenue. It's tricky to get right, which is why many companies are happy to outsource to somebody who can maximize their Facebook advertising. Successfully advertising on Facebook involves calculating the lifetime value of your customer, which comprises several calculations based on the average sale per customer and frequency of purchases. This figure allows you to set a budget-appropriate offer on Facebook to reach customers, who are likely to respond to the ad. You'll then need to create a target audience appropriate for the client and set up things like engagement campaigns, which encourage Facebook users to engage in the advertising. Once you've learned the process, it becomes easy to replicate for other clients and is a straightforward business to run from home. Set up a website to market your service, 
and, of course, use Facebook too. 54. Don't trust free tips. Price manipulators often spread misinformation to fraud unsuspecting investors. They may try to lure investors through free investment tips. Investors should always try to verify the source of their information. In addition, not paying attention to investment advice posted on unregulated Discord servers, Reddit channels, or any messaging boards would be wise. Limiting the information you consume is a good way to sidestep misinformation. Free investment tips in the share market are not always easy to identify. Sometimes, these tips may be given by social media influencers, or they may be presented subtly so that investors do not get spooked. 55. Start a medical transcription business. Becoming a medical transcriptionist, it involves transcribing recorded dictation from doctors or nurses into a written format for patients' medical records, referral letters, or other documents. The startup costs are next to none. If you've got a computer, all you'll need to invest in are some good quality headphones and some transcription software. You'll also need a good grasp of medical terminology to be able to interpret the dictations, typing proficiency, and flawless grammar. You can also obtain a license by undergoing certified training. Not all service providers require this, but it can boost your credibility and ensure that you're able to work for anyone. 56. Invest only with your surplus funds. Before investing, you should always consider the necessary expenses like rent, living expenses, insurance premiums, EMIs, etc. The leftover from these expenses is called surplus funds. Investment of surplus funds is safer as you won't miss out on important expenses. People often say, invest only what you can afford to lose. Stock market investments are subject to market and business risks. There's no need to let these risks affect your lifestyle. 57. Don't keep unrealistic expectations about investing. It is harmful to keep unrealistic expectations about stock investments. Suppose you expect high returns even before doing research. In that case, you might limit yourself to investments with high expected returns and hence high risks. Ideally, you should learn about the market conditions, select sectors to invest in, and find the expected returns on investments on stocks in those sectors. After all this, you should create the stock's portfolio that suits you. Expectations play an important role in investing. 58. Online Mailing List Broker Mailing list brokers compile lists of names and addresses of prospective consumers for business clients. They're specialists in their field who undertake market research to define a target consumer and find leads. These kind of lists are essential for companies to expand their client base and grow their sales. Companies are therefore willing to spend huge amounts of money on appropriate mailing lists. To get started, choose an industry you're familiar with. You need to have a knowledge of how the sector works and ideally you should have experience in sales or advertising in this area. Part of your job will be understanding the industry and interpreting consumer research reports to determine which demographic your clients should be targeting. You should use this analysis to recommend appropriate mailing lists, which you can either sell or rent to clients. The startup costs are very low. All you need to start is a computer and an internet connection. 59. Don't invest based on psychological biases. Psychological biases like loss aversion, overconfidence bias, anchoring bias, and herd behavior bias can get in the way of creating a suitable stock portfolio. All investors have to work through their own biases in investing. Sometimes investors may react too much to short-term losses or be too confident in stocks that are losing money. These are examples of psychological biases in financial investment. Behavioral biases can be dealt with by sticking to a sound investment strategy. 60. Become a business plan writer. All successful businesses need a solid business plan. It's the first and most crucial step for any budding entrepreneur to secure investment and start trading. Many entrepreneurs don't know where to begin making them willing to outsource to an external writer to do the bulk of the work for them. To become a business plan writer, you'll ideally have some experience in business. You need to understand all aspects of a business plan to be able to produce one for somebody else. You'll also need impeccable grammar skills and a professional writing style. To find customers, you can advertise on entrepreneur websites or contact businesses directly. Writing business plans can be extremely profitable. Big companies will pay thousands for a thorough plan. So make sure you've got expertise on all the necessary components of a business plan. We have listed various do's and don'ts in this video. Still, investors should always keep learning and update themselves about what's happening in the stock market. I tried to cover the do's and don'ts of stock market investing for beginners. However, this is just a guide and not a manual. You will learn more do's and don'ts through your personal experiences when you start investing on your own. I hope this video on do's and don'ts of stock market is useful to you. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching the video. We will cover more details in upcoming videos. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching the video. 
Our mission is to provide an online business for passive income, share market do's and don'ts, motivational speech and inspirational quotes and relaxing experience to our viewers with content that focuses on the natural beauty. Your kind support will be a great motivation and inspiration to my creation. Please subscribe, like and comment if you like the channel. Stay connected.